morning welcome back to a new studio vlog it is monday the 11th of january um i'm currently working on printing off some photos i want to do some journaling work this week i tend to often break things down in bits and pieces so right now i don't want to actually make the page but i thought I print off the photos. I had a look actually on my phone when I was in bed last night and chose the photos I wanted to do. I then um, uploaded them so that when I was ready to come and print this morning, they were ready there for me. I'm using Pick Monkey to pop them into a grid and I've just printed them onto um, a four by six printer paper. I get asked a lot about how I print my photos. I just use my regular A4 Epson printer. I buy photo paper whoops that's Epson photo paper and this A4 printer that I use every single day also prints to photo quality I love having the flexibility of how I print my photos whether I want to add borders um, anything like that it just gives me so much more choice so I've just printed that off I'm now just working on another because I want to fill the bottom bit and that would be I know exactly that I wanted to document our new car arriving so I thought rather than waste that little bit at the bottom I may as well print those photos off ready so this is the new version of PicMonkey it's taken me a little while to get used to it is free PicMonkey.com and I really really like it I've used PicMonkey for a very long time I've chosen I've gone into um, collage and then you can choose how you want um, I went into this one here and then these are my photos and you literally just drag them across I then save them and I use Coral Paint Shop Pro um, I've used it again for years. It's not expensive, but there are free trials, 30 day trials to see if you like it first. So if you wanted to give it a go, I'll find a link and leave it below. It's not a referral or anything. I just really enjoy using it. Um, we do have Photoshop, but I don't use that. Aid uses it. I just find this Paint Shop Pro is basic. I can edit photos, add frames, turn it black and white, sepia, anything like that. It's very, very basic. And for me, I really like that. I don't want anything too fussy. Um, and now I'm gonna print that new little grid there, that little collage on the bottom. Let me know how you print your photos off for your scrapbooks and your journals. Do you print them yourself or do you send them off? And if you print them off yourself, what do you use? And there we have it. I've got um, six little photos all on my four by six photo paper and that will be perfect to cut out. I've made nice big borders so they're really easy to cut out. I do like having white borders on my photos and these are perfect for my journals now. I'm now going to be working on a new journal video. I haven't actually worked on a journaling video properly for my journaling channel for probably about six weeks. It's been ages considering I'd wanted to post a couple of times a week. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, I'm going to get back into it now and do a video and I'm doing a page about my word of the year. That video should have gone up by now. So I'll link it up below for you if you want to go and check it out. I've started my creating. I've just relit my wax melt in here and we're at beach club, Disney's beach club at the moment. What I wouldn't give to be at Disney's beach club. I miss being at Disney so so much so that's burning and I've got a right little mess out here and I love it when it's like this I have pulled out an old lettering book and I've got the starts of my journal now when I create like this what I like doing is rather than spending a couple of hours on my journal I split the time up so like now I've got my first layer in and I've left it to dry, I've stuck a load in the washing machine, cleaned our bathroom and I've got the mop, the um, steam mop on. So now I'm going to do my next layer in my journal and whilst that's dry drying I can go and plop the mop around. So I like doing things like that because I feel like I'm being really functional and I feel like sometimes like I'm super mum, I'm getting all these jobs done. So it feels really good to be doing something for me but I'm being sort of really productive within the house and the home as well. I absolutely love that. I've had so much fun. I've got really messy hands. And this is my journal page that I've ended up creating with my word balance, thanks to Claire. And I've written down all the things that I need to work on and I'll link up that video if you fancy seeing the full process and hearing all about my word of the year. And I think the whole reason I've just done that journal, um, 
was because I really, really wanted to, and it all comes down to my word balance. I've just worked a full week, a full weekend. I worked last weekend as well. I can't just keep working every single day. Sorry, that looks really rude stuff like that, doesn't it? It's my tripod. Um, and if I want to take two hours out every now and then in amongst my, let's face it, I'm gonna be working till 11 o'clock tonight and I started at eight. I can take two hours out playing my journal. I don't need to feel guilty about it. Um, so I need to do more of that. It's six o'clock, nearly six, and I have been doing all desk jobs today. It hasn't quite gone as I'd expected because I spent the morning journaling. I've got through pretty much all of my lists though today, so I'm quite pleased with that. A few orders to pack still that have come through over the weekend, and I need to make a curry. I don't actually feel hungry. I made the mistake of not eating today, and at two o'clock I felt shaky and I ate the leftover rice in the kitchen that was Louis' leftover from dinner on Friday that was still in the fridge. So I ate that and now I don't feel hungry, but the family need to eat. I've promised a curry and Louis goes to work in two hours time. So I'm gonna go make a super fast curry. So I'm following this recipe from Instagram. Um, it's from Anna's Family Kitchen. I love her Instagram feed. Um, and she actually shares the recipes on the grid. So you look at the photo, scroll down, she talks a bit about it and the recipe is there. And she shares them as highlights in her stories as well. So they're really, really easy to follow. Um, this is, I think um, it's chicken passanda that I'm following. And it's supposed to be like a quick 30 minute curry, which is good. I'm using my little blender here. I've got onions, garlic, and fresh ginger is just about to go in. What I like about this one, we have a fussy eater, as you probably know, who doesn't like bits. Hey, do you like bits? Yeah, I love bits. Aid likes bits. I like bits. Louis just not like food. Louis doesn't like bits. This is great. Um, so this will get, if you've got any fussy ones that don't like bits, we're gonna blitz it down. Where's my doodah? And um, hopefully it'll be bit free. I added a splash of water to it as well. It looks purple, I've used a red onion. Looks like the purple wall in Disney. Doesn't smell like it though. It's a bit oniony and garlicky. Right, what are we adding to that? We are heating oil in a pan, adding the paste and cooking for five minutes. Oh. I was supposed to add other stuff to that. I was supposed to add tomato puree, turmeric, and cinnamon and ground coriander. Better add that to the pan. Right, I've mixed in the spices and the ketchup. Oh, Holly's on the phone. So whilst I chatted with my daughter Holly, I stirred the chicken around. I cooked it for a few minutes, um, just to kind of like cook the chicken, brown it off, and really get it sort of intense in the flavor. And then I added some ground almonds and also chicken stock as well. And again, I let this cook down um, it smelled so good. It was really, really good. I like to add a little bit of um, mango chutney to mine as well, but that wasn't in the actual recipe. I added some coconut milk to it as well, and I was really, really looking forward to this. It was so good. Now, I don't have garam masala. I can't even say the word garam masala. You know what I mean. Um, but I use curry powder instead. However, I have got the garam masala. Um, on my shopping list for my next online shop. I stirred this in and let it cook down, um, let it thicken up as well. I didn't want my um, curry sauce being too thin. It's quite thin here, as you can see. This curry is really, really good. Completely different to any other curry I've ever made. Um, it's quite liquidy, so I'm going to add some corn flour just to thicken it up. And I also love adding mango chutney to my curries. That's thickened up really, really nicely. I hate it when Louis leaves his coat on the banister. We have coat hooks by the front door. It drives me mad. Um, that's thickened up really nicely. One thing I was gonna say is that you're supposed to use um, natural yogurt. It wasn't on my Amazon delivery yesterday, um, again. What I don't understand, we like Farhey natural yogurt. It just always comes as missing. 
they never actually send a substitute. Surely there's other natural yogurts they could substitute it with. Anyway, um, one thing I was going to say is that obviously before we would have gone out and just got natural yogurt to go in the recipe. Whereas these days you're just thinking, I don't need it, I can live without it. Um, so I think in that way, I think in that way, um, you do end up spending less at the moment because you just kind of like make do. Have you noticed that as well? It looks a bit katsu-esque. It's very, very yum. Good morning. Um, that curry last night, I didn't actually like it after all that. Aid said it was the best curry I'd ever made. I didn't like the graininess of the ground almonds. After all that saying of don't like uh, light bits, Louis doesn't like bits, it was me that didn't like the bits. Um, it was a bit grainy for me and I didn't like that. So I don't think I would make it again with the ground almonds, if I'm totally honest. It gave it a lovely flavour, but it was a bit sandy for my liking. Um, so I need to finish this video. Thank you very much for watching. It was just a little kind of like day in the life, little work video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow I have got a journaling video on this channel. I know I don't usually share the journaling videos on this channel, but it's in collaboration with somebody that I'm working with on Lollipop Box Club. So I wanted it to be on the main channel. So that's coming tomorrow. And then I've got more vlogs for you later in the week. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy please subscribe to my channel if you don't already there's a little bell that you can click um, that notifies you when the videos go up and it's all free to do thank you so much i'll see you tomorrow bye